fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to kit down my hedgehog from Diamond Art Club. So this was my second canvas for my DP for Pets event and I'm so excited at how well it's been going. Um, I know several people have already finished their canvases well, as well. So you know, all of you who have participated, I thank you so much. Uh, if you have finished your canvas, don't forget to fill out the um, exit form. I will try to remember to stick a link to that in the description of this video as well. Um, it is also on the kit up video for this, which um, came out on the 15th, which is when the exit form opened. So if you, if I forget to link it down there, go find that video and, um, you can find the link, uh, or I've posted it on, um, I think on my Facebook page and the Facebook group, the group for sure. So go check either of those out. There's always links for those down below. Um, and yeah, so this was a, a square kit. It was a partial, you just diamond paint the little hedgehog and the teacups and stuff, 42 colors. Um, it had three ABs that came with it. And then I added some crystals. So um, I ordered this on the 24th, got it on the 27th. I started it on the 7th and I finished it on the 9th. So you guys are obviously seeing this a little bit after I finished it, but it took me eight hours and 54 minutes. And this is one that I got during their warehouse sale. It was only $15, which is one of the reasons I got it. Um, because yeah, for $15, it's a pretty good deal. So in my diamond painting stash, I was able to, it's at the end because it's one that I just bought recently. So I was able to mark it off of my stash. And then I have all of my diamond paintings that I've done. So I've got it here uh, with it, note, you know, everything noted that I have that I'm going to do. And then on the back side is where I keep track of all of the hours. So, and then once I finish, I go back here to the back of my log book and I will mark it down as a finish. And I note this, the name of the kit, the type of drill, start and finish date, and then how long it took me. And then the other thing that I do just for fun, this is a holdover from my um, bullet journal days. I um, have been keeping track of how many diamond paintings I finish. Now, I've actually finished more diamond paintings than this, but what I'm trying to keep track of here is kind of my big diamond paintings that I've finished so far this year. Um, I think there's a couple of small like 30 by 30s in here, but other than that, I've really done really big canvases. My Coral Fish from TSA, my Alice. Um, the Hot Air Balloon was not huge, but it was bigger than a 30 by 30. Vibrant Italy. Um, my Huacan Flamingos, the huge um, Dreamer Designs Cottage on the Water my dream catcher, the big Gothic mosaic, and then my spaniel and the hedgehog, which were smaller ones, but so I just use some markers and I keep track of this little, and when I get this page finished, I have a second one ready to go. And if I need a third one, I can always make myself a third one. So, uh, yeah, just, um, how I'm keeping track of things in my log book. So this was the, um, my latest finish since I, as you can see, I have multiple projects on the go at once, which sometimes makes me crazy, but that's why I use my log book because it helps me keep track of when did I start? When did I stop? How many hours did I put in? And all those things that I'm tracking for uh, my um, diamond painting goals for this year. So let me move that out of the way. And of course I forgot to grab a tray. So let me grab a tray really quick. And I am, I've got my box here of my squares ready to go. And I've got my tray with my drills here so that I can um, get them out. Now I have gone back and put them in DMC order. This is not the order they were in when I was diamond painting, but just to make it easier on myself for getting um, down, I did go back and put them in diamond painting uh, DMC order. So starting with number 208, so that I can go through here and just really quickly start getting these down. So I will say, um, I think oh, I should have got a, should have gotten a pin with a straightener on it. That's what I used to 
open these um, Elizabeth Ward boxes so that I don't kill my fingernails trying to open them. Because if you do have fingernails, trying to open them sometimes can be a little bit tricky. Now, I did add in, I had some crystal um, DMCs from, I want to say, Shimmering Canvases where I got these. So I added a few of these in, so you'll see where that goes. So I'm just going to stick them in here under 209 because that is the next one that I need to de-kit. And some of these, again, because this is a partial, it just, some of the colors had so few drills. It was kind of funny how quickly kind of I used up, because like these purple colors, um, 210, these purple colors were really only in the little macaroon cookie. Um, same for the, oh no, I lied. The, one of the teacups was purple. So the little cookie and then the teacups had these purple colors, but like all the pinks, I think there's four or five different pink colors in here in this particular canvas and they were only in that little cookie. So, uh, okay. Now these are the Diamond Art Club DMC. Well, AB numbers is what I mean to say. And DMC or DMC. Diamond Art Club has a conversion chart that tells you what DMCs these actually are. So I went and made myself some notes before I started kidding down and their DMC 126 is equal to DMC 211. So this goes in my 211 ABs, which I don't have any of, so I'm excited about that. Anytime I get extra ABs, that's always good, especially squares because I don't have very many squares. So I can put those away and just had very few black ones. So, but these were nice black ones. They were not very trashy, even though there weren't very many of them. So I will save those. I am really picky about which black drills I save because because I just am. So they tend to be really trashy and so I don't like to save them if they're not really good quality. Oops, I don't need the AB bag. I need the regular bag of this color. Okay. Kind of funny that I don't have some of these colors. I have more squares than I do rounds because I bought the um, square art dot spares. So I have at least a thousand, unless I've used them in between of each of the, um, DMCs for squares. So they ended up not fitting into my one big box like my rounds did, but that's okay. Eventually at some point, I'm probably going to have enough spares because I want to start doing a more, heaven and earth designs, which means I'm either going to be buying the drills from somebody or I'm going to be using my spares and I would prefer to use my spares. So just to avoid waste, I mean, I've got them, so why not use them? Right? So, um, <laughs> that one has a round drill stuck in there. I'm not going to chase it out though. It can just stay in there. Someday it will fall down and I'll be like, where did that come from when I'm diamond painting? Okay, and then 415. This really was such a cute little kit, even though it didn't take very long. I was really surprised. Um, never having really done one of these kind of partials before. And I've seen, you know, all the different ones that this particular artist has done, both with Diamond Art Club and other um, companies. I mean, I've seen all kinds of really cute little kind of animal paintings. So um, but I just had never done the partials before. So I was really pleasantly surprised at how quickly they went. Um, although I will say uh, someone else pointed out that, you know, they do go quite kind of quickly. And so for the money that you pay, 
it might not always be worth it to some people. Now for me, like I said, I got this one on sale. So it was one that I'd actually had my eye on for a while, but I just hadn't pulled the trigger on it. And then they were having their sale and it was um, a good enough price that I was like, you know what? Yeah, I can, for that price, I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna move those out of the way because those are gonna go someplace else. 435. There was, the bottom of this painting, there was, you know, quite a bit of multi-placing. Um, the teacups, the plate, that kind of thing were all a lot of um, multi-placing. However, once you got up into the hedgehog, it was quite a bit of confetti. So if you do not like confetti, this might not have been a good kit for you. Um, I mean, you know, it was confetti, but it, it's also not a very big painting. So maybe it wouldn't have been a huge deal if you don't like confetti. Ooh, those are two very different colors. It's okay though. That just means I have choices when I go to use them. So I'm excited, you guys. I'm, I feel like I'm making some real progress on my diamond painting goals. Uh, one of which was I'm hosting an event and so far it's going okay. Knock on wood um, that I didn't just jinx myself. Um, Okay, so now I need 598. Um, it's going well, and I've had a lot of fun. I mean, I've had a lot of fun already, so I'm really happy with how it's gone, and I've learned a lot. So, you know, hopefully when I do the next one, when I do DP for Vets in November, um, I will be a little better at it had a hanger on in there. Okay. All right. So here's all these pink ones that basically were just in that little cookie on the tray on the little saucer. So there aren't hardly any drills to begin with. And I didn't use very many of them in the painting itself. So I have pretty much a bunch of leftovers. So that stuck to my finger. Okay, that was 601. And I have 602. I love all these pinks though. I don't know why I've become so enamored of pink lately, but it's like my favorite. That's why I'm stuck on the on the flamingos lately, I think. I want to, I've been watching somebody make um, sugar cookies, decorated sugar cookies. And I used to do that kind of thing a long time ago when I was, oh gosh, when I was in high school and very first in college, um, my mom and I, took a um, cake decorating class back when, well, I want to say it was J.C. Penney's, I think. I think it was J.C. Penney's. Anyway, we had to go to the mall and we had to go to, it was like the basement of J.C. Penney's. And we went to um, this Wilton cake decorating class and we learned how to decorate cakes and stuff. And I've always liked to bake. So, um, I signed up for it with my mom and for some reason my mom couldn't do it. And, but I mean, we'd already bought like all the supplies and everything and she didn't want to just waste the money on it. So my grandmother ended up going with me and which is kind of funny because my mom was the one who wanted to take it. I was just doing it because she wanted to, and then she couldn't. So my grandma ended up going with me. And we both had a really good time, really liked it, really enjoyed it. And so 
uh, my grandmother was retired at the time because she retired early. She retired in her 50s. And um, so we took this cake decorating class and had a lot of fun and bought some supplies. And we basically opened like a little, it was called, I can't even remember what it's called, something confections. And we had like, I mean, it was kind of in the days before Facebook, but it was kind of like a little Facebook business, you know, where it's just local people that if you knew we did it, people would call us. And I made cakes and decorated the cakes and, um, my grandma made all different kinds of cookies and candies and things. Um, she would do a lot of it at Christmas time. I didn't have as much time to work on it as she did because I was in school, but you know, I would help her whenever I could and, um, did a lot of like birthday cakes and that kind of stuff. So I still, until, oh, probably five years or so ago, still had a bunch of my pans and everything. I still have all my cake decorating tips and all that. And I made, I made my brother's wedding cake, which was the only wedding cake I ever did. And after I did it, I swore I would never do another one because it was so nerve wracking, you guys. I just, oh my goodness. Because at the time, you know, I didn't live in the city where my brother lived. And so I, we had to transport the cake. And who, let me tell you, that's the nerve wracking part is having to transport it and move it from one place to the, the other. I mean, I, oh, I think I lost 10 years off my life driving it to the church where they were having their ceremony and, you know, just making sure that it wasn't going to get messed up or fall over or, you know, something happened to it because well, it was just me doing it for them. And it wasn't a complicated cake or anything, but, and I had a couple of like, you know, spare flowers and that kind of stuff. But I mean, if something catastrophic happened, then I was in trouble. So luckily we made it there and it was no problem. The cake survived. They loved it. It was great. But after that, I was like, yeah, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> it's too much pressure. So, um, anyway, all of that, because I started telling you, I've been watching somebody make sugar cookies and I used to do it all the time. Um, we actually stopped because my carpal tunnel got kind of too bad and I just, I couldn't handle the pastry bags and everything to make the flowers and stuff like I had before. And so... And I still can't do it a lot. Um, but I've been watching somebody who basically has been making like very small batches of decorated cake or cookies. So they make sugar cookies, you know, cut out sugar cookies, and then they use the royal icing and frost these really cute cookies. And the day that I was watching it, she was making flamingo cookies, which is the reason I stopped to watch because they were flamingos. So ever since then, I've been on this flamingo kick. So I blame her, but they were so cute. And now I want to make some cookies and decorate them. But, you know, I just want to do like small batches, like six or so cookies at a time, because I don't want a lot of cookies around our house. My husband is diabetic. And that's the other thing is I've been looking at uh, recipes to make the sugar cookies and the royal icing with um, like swerve or you know something that's not regular cane sugar and I know it won't taste the same but I'm wondering if like how that's going to affect you know how the cookies bake and how the royal icing works and I mean I found recipes for both but I haven't been brave enough to try it yet so that's something that's on my agenda is to make some cute sugar cookies. Okay, so this one is 131 is Diamond Art Club's code, and that is equal to 972. So that's where I'm going to put it is 972 so that I know that's the color of AB that it is. 
because I don't diamond paint enough with just Diamond Art Club to leave it in Diamond Art Club's codes. Okay, so 9.91. I'm quickly going to be getting to the end here, and I'm going to have to switch out my boxes because, like I said, I've got enough squares that I've got two boxes of squares. Come on, get out of there. Everyone has to be all staticky at the end here. Okay, 991, then 992. Okay. Get my D's in there. Those are all in color. 992 and then 993 and then I'm done with the 900s and I can move on to the bigger DMC numbers. These stickers seem to be coming off relatively easily, so that's good. 3024. And you can see this is much as such a small kit. Most of what I have left over, there's not very many drills of each color. So okay. Three, three, four, eight. Okay, this one is actually in my other box, so I need to switch out this box with my other one. So uh, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, three, three, four, eight. Maybe when I we finally move, I will figure out how I want to do this a little bit differently and maybe somewhat more permanently than just these little boxes for my spare drills. But maybe also by the time we move, I will have done more heaven and earth design canvases using them and I will have less of them to store because that would be the ultimate goal. Okay, 3771 is over here. Okay, I'm getting close. I don't have very many colors left. 3771. Ooh, now I'm jumping to 38. 3811. Back here. Okay. I'm looking in the wrong spot. That's where that one goes. Okay. Only have three colors left. Okay, so thirty-eight fourteen. Ooh, I don't have any of these. Thirty-eight, fourteen, and then thirty-eight, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-seven is in this last row. And then I only have my last AB left, which is Diamond Art Club's number is 141, but it is actually um, 5200. Hmm. And I have pulled them out to put them in another spot, so. 
I wonder where they went. Here they are. I had pulled them out to go with another kit. So I will just dump these in there. So now I have more to use with the other kit. Okay. So, whoops, let me throw my trash away here. Pull those. And then I want to show you my trash, but let me move some of this uh, around, get some things out of the way. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so I now have all of my drills put back, or all of my tray put back together so I can put this tray aside so it's ready to go for the next kit. And then I need to show you my drills. So I really had hardly any trash. Um, one, because this kit was so small, and two, just it was small. There wasn't a lot of trash. So some of this was ABs where they were stuck together. Um, some you can see that had some kind of discoloration on it. That's got a little tabs, little extra pieces hanging on to it. So, but I mean, for even for a kit as small as it is, that's almost next to nothing for trash. So those are going to go in my trash. And then I am going to be right back and show you guys the uh, finish of my hedgehog. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I am back to show you the completed hedgehog canvas and ta-da, here it is. So I think it turned out super cute. Um, I, like I said, the only pinks were here in this cookie um, and then, you know, the AB. So three ABs came with it. You can see the ABs here in this teal teacup. And then there was the um, ABs that went in the spoon on the edge of the handles here. And then there were purple ABs, which you can see a little bit right here in the purple cookie. And um, up here in the flowers, you can see. And then in the middle of the flowers, there was that yellow AB. I also added in, if you remember, I told you, oh, and then the white ABs in his eyeballs. Um, I added in some of those uh, crystals. So right here is kind of a highlight and then here as a highlight in some of the flower petals. Um, I didn't put any down here in the cookie because I just couldn't find a place that I thought they made sense. So, um, so I don't have a lot of them, but you can see right there in the um, teacup where they are, I hope, and then where some of them are in the uh, flowers. So yeah, and he's just so cute, you guys. I, I'm so super happy with how he turned out. Um, and I wasn't sure when I very first started the Spaniel if I would like the partial, uh, but it does make it go faster. So it was fun because, you know, it's, it's, not very much diamond painting. I mean, it took me around nine hours, which is about how long a 30 by 30 takes me. It is square, so it takes longer, but I really like how it turned out. I love his cute little face and his cute little paws. So, you know, don't, don't mind my drill work. It's not perfect, but, um, it was a lot of fun. I, I really had a lot of fun doing it. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, He's got such a cute little face and then, you know, doing his ears. Like I said, he, the hedgehog himself is a lot of confetti because of just kind of the, the quills and the fur and, you know, making it look as lifelike as possible while still not making it too pixelated. Um, there was quite a bit of multi-placing, like I said, down here, you know, even though there's like four, four or five colors in each of the cookies, it's still was a lot more multi-placing than I got to do um, up here in the hedgehog. So um, yeah, I just think it turned out really great. I think it's really cute. And I get to say that I finished two kits for my own event, which is amazing because 
I wasn't sure that I would have time to finish one, so having the time to finish two. Um, I'd like to say that I'm ambitious and going to try for three, but I don't know. Uh, realistically, because you guys see this, you know, after I filmed it, um, I just don't know how I'm going to fit a third one kind of into my filming schedule. So I probably have time to finish it, but I don't have enough time to film and show you guys all the process before the event ends. So I may just skip it and save it for something else. You know, one of those days when I need a quick finish or a relatively quick finish, but I want something, you know, to work on that's fun. So we'll see. Uh, I did have a lot of fun, you know, adding in kind of the little embellishments that I did. I like the way the ABs look and yeah, I'm super happy with the way it turned out. So I knew he was a cutie when I ordered it and I wasn't wrong. He is still a cutie now that he's finished. So uh, as always, I will put a link in the description below so that you guys can go check him out for yourselves. Uh, I can't remember if he's available or if he, I think he's still available. He's, he's a fairly new, fairly new, I mean, relatively new release. So uh, if he's not available, hopefully he'll be restocked. Um, so yeah, so you guys can check it out and keep your eye out. Um, I am already collecting photos. I am hoping to do some sort of a video montage, not only of my finishes, but all of yours who are participating in the event. Um, and that will of course come out after the event is finished. So keep working. Uh, uh, the event is not over. It doesn't end until June 30th. You have until June 30th at midnight to submit your finished photos and information to be entered in the final prize drawing. And, um, I will do that hopefully just a couple of days later, make sure everybody had time to get everything in and finished and yeah, keep posting all your photos. I love seeing them. Feel free to tag me and yeah, there you go, guys. That's my hedgehog from Diamond Art Club. Before you leave, guys, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.